Public hearings on implementation of the competency-based curriculum are ongoing with the Presidential Working Party on Education Reforms led by Rafael Munavu, pitching tents in Lamu, Embu, Moranga, West Pokot, Narok, Nandi, and Seya counties. Yesterday, the team held its sittings in Meru and Transoia, where stakeholders cite insufficient engagement, cultural inference, and the cost of implementation as issues they want addressed. In their submissions to the Presidential Working Party on Education Reforms, Meru residents suggest junior secondary schools should be domiciled in primary schools so as not to interfere with the circumcision period. The system is time consuming. We say that the content in the books, the book means that teacher, parent, and pupils to take a lot of time in preparation. Though parents feel junior secondary school transition might interfere with the Ameru rite of passage, Kenya Union of Post Primary Teachers is of a different view. Learning resources, uh, more classrooms, uh, more teachers, so that at least uh, we are not disadvantaged when it comes uh, to um, the, the junior secondary schools. Meru Region's task force head, Siriaka Gitonga, noting the cultural concern, says the majority of the residents were in support of the curriculum. Concerning the boy child, who needs to be circumcised to be able to integrate well uh, with other boys in schools. And of importance is the, the age of that boy. Would the Meru circumcise a 10-year-old? And uh, these are the conversations that uh, the, 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 the participants are telling us might be something that the government would have to uh, pay attention. Being an issue of uh, culture, uh, and they undergo that, <laughs> it has prominently been brought to us, and we are all capturing all that. In Transoya County, those who turned up for the public hearing feel the cost of implementing the competence-based curriculum is unrealistic for parents, especially those in rural areas. The 42-member task force continues to collect views on the implementation of the competence-based curriculum across all the 47 counties. For Lunchtime News, I'm Zainab Said.